A study on sunscreen is triggering a government safety investigation. Earlier this month, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration found that several common ingredients used in chemical sunscreens can enter the bloodstream at dangerous levels after just one day of use. The FDA is looking further into the issue, of course, but Dr. Sonia Basha is here to tell us more about the research and what we can do to be safe in the sun. And as Maria just mentioned, it's going to be sunny this week, yes. so we need to know. Summer is coming. Thank you for joining us once again, doctor. Thank you. So Thank tell you us about the research. Me. What are they saying? So this was a study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, and they looked at 24 people who looked at two sprays, a lotion and a cream, with four chemical block ingredients. Now remember they were using this under maximal use. They were putting it on 75% of their body surface area four times a day. And they found that after even one day, they found levels in the bloodstream that were above of what the FDA ever thought were absorbed. So those were avabenzone, oxybenzone, octocrylene, and a capsule. And those so those are, all, are the things we shouldn't have in our... Well, those are chemical block ingredients that were previously thought to sit on top of the skin. But now, as we understand it, they're actually being absorbed into the skin. And the way chemical blocks work is they convert ultraviolet to heat. So while the FDA originally thought these ingredients were okay back in the 70s when they were all introduced, the thought was that they were sitting there and not actually going into your bloodstream. Now we know that they are going to the bloodstream, but it doesn't mean they're dangerous. So to be clear, these ingredients have been around for decades and they've never been known to cause any major harm. And this was a much, much larger amount than the typical person puts on. So right. remember with a maximal use study, they're going through two bottles of sunscreen in four days. Wow. The average person goes through one bottle of sunscreen in a year. Right. So before you panic and throw out your sunscreen, I think it's just really important to know that these do trigger a kind of greater level of awareness that these things are not just sitting on your skin, they are going into the bloodstream. But now the FDA wants to know, does that play out to pose any cancer risk, any endocrine disruption risk? And that's the real question. So before we find those results out, mm -hmm. just to be safe, what should we be looking for in our sunscreen? So that's a perfect question because we don't want you to throw out your sunscreen. We want you to know what to look for. So every sunscreen bottle has on the back active ingredients. And dermatologists have been saying for a long time, please look for the mineral or physical sunscreens that are zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, and they sit on top of your skin. They're micronized particles that form a physical shield and actually deflect the UV rays. We know that these are generally regarded as safe and effective. They're broad spectrum, so they block both UVA and UVB. And we know that they aren't absorbed, that they're actually forming a physical shield. So I always tell my patients, just become really astute at turning around that bottle. Avoid anything that doesn't say zinc or titanium, right. but please do use your sunscreen because we know that, especially with the forecast we just saw, we're all getting so much we ultraviolet exposure. Yeah. And those sunburns, especially in childhood and early in life, are what lead to skin cancer down the line. And in your opinion, quickly, do you think spray or lotion sunscreen is better? I like creams or lotions okay. over sprays for a couple reasons. One is that sprays, we don't fully understand how safe it is to inhale them. Sure. The second is that most of the time people aren't even applying enough of the spray to get the SPF on the label. Theoretically, you should be doing four passes till your skin glistens and nobody does that versus the cream you can rub in. Also in this study, interestingly, the levels of absorption for the chemical blocks were higher from the sprays than from the creams in terms of the formulation. Okay. Sonia, you yeah. always have so much great information. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. And you can see Dr. Batra on the doctor's weekdays on My13 KCOP. We'll be right back. Thank you. So informative. Okay, so now I gotta buy my lotion because I'm all about.